This journey from Nembe Basabri to Sonikiri fishing camp in Nembe local government area of Bayelsa State takes an average of 40 minutes on what should usually be clear waters. But sadly, that's not the case here along the Santa Barbara River as the waters have been contaminated following an oil spill from an ITO facility explosion putting human and aquatic lives at great risk. For over three weeks, petroleum content constantly just off this wellhead with deafening noise emptying its content into the river and whatever remedial measures these ITO workers are deploying is apparently insufficient and insignificant. It had affected me so much that in fact lives, both the antique, we are displaced now. I'm telling you, government should look for a solution. We have been displaced. None of my persons are here again because of the acidity of the, of the speed. I, can, I get this fish from this river with crude oil everywhere, including the mangrove, the seafood, and every part of the mangrove forest covered with oil. First of November, this happened. These are indigenous oil companies, and what has, we are experiencing here it shows us since they are looking for experts, it means they do not have the capacity, they do not have the required personnel to actually deal with their operations. For the lives and livelihood of the people in Sunny Creek fishing settlement, amongst others, it's a precarious situation as many of them have fled the area. No way to enter river. All this in a white way, then been they white. So all of them don't come black. The net self day for both. All of them are crude oil, crude oil. When you enter river, cob of fish you not go see. So we day for hungry. And this in Katawa they take survive, but now as oil poor like this, we know they go anywhere. Hungry they kill us here. Because all the bush and oil, all, all the clear we just let them die finish. Their desperation is palpable as a call for assistance from the state and the federal governments. This area, I need the highest person with the uh, managed fish. But now, no fish because of the crude oil. They're not green fishing again. When they go the net, crude oil, crude oil, no fish where they, they go come give me. This uh, crude oil, good pollution, don't spoil all our fishing materials. Boat hook, nets, even fish are dying. So there is no way for us to go fishing. Kill fees. We are they hungry. ITO, owners of the affected wellhead have offered some palliatives to the people in the area to cushion the effect of the incident on their lives and livelihood. That particular well has about 80 or 85 percent gas and just about maybe 15 percent uh, crude. And if you are you're familiar with uh, oil production, you'll know that uh, when it's an incident like this happens, uh, the gas is the one that is, is really escaping. But in the process of escaping from underneath, be, uh, because it is lighter, it, it pushes a bit of the, the crude around it, along with it. That is why you see today, the, this particular incident has not produced much uh, crude oil in the environment. Uh, you know, it is, the crude oil that is coming out has been easily contained by what we call the boom. You know, immediately the incident happened, we moved our men in, we have the expertise, you know, we moved all our men and equipment in, first of all, to contain it, to ensure that it doesn't disperse along the river, rivers and all of that and into neighboring uh, communities. It is expected that the action of the company and the directive of the federal government will further provide succor to the people and limit future occurrence of similar incident.